Shut up and sit down. Hi guys, I'm Dodge, this is Big Mac's Workshop and Paint Studio and today is a really quick one uh, for the tutorial playlist. We're going to be building a bit of a temple base. Um, at the moment I've drawn out a, a grid and each of these squares is just 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters. The reason it's 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters is because we're using the old 40k bits of terrain set and that's how big the tiles are on the level above. So once you've done your uh, uh, big square grid at two centimeters by two centimeters, I um, you want to make sure there's enough room to get troops through each bit. So there's about ten squares along for this, and you want to leave yourself an overhang that's also about two centimeters because we're going to bevel that edge later on. Now I'm just marking off the um, terrain parts so uh, I know where they're going to go because I like the way they look. Now we're going to score all of the lines that we've done, all the central ones anyway, you don't need to go over the outside edge. We're going to score them with a Stanley knife because we, the, we're using a foam core base, so you only need to cut the top bit of card. You want to be careful not to go too deep or to uh, pull the knife at the wrong angle, otherwise you'll tear up bits of the foam core from underneath. You want to give them a nice score because what we're going to do in a minute is go over them with something else and uh, make these look like tiles so they match the rest of the building. As you can see I've already started here. Uh, we're just using a pretty blunt pencil, doesn't need to be sharp. And just following those lines again with the ruler. Uh, occasionally it won't go as deep as you like it so you go back and forth over the ruler till it does. And this is really easy stuff to do. Um, you're just basically scoring this whole pattern in. We're going to add a couple more extra details, but like I said, this is our first video back at year, besides the banner and brushes one, and it's just something nice and simple. I mean, you can make these um, grooves as deep as you want them to, but if you don't score it, you're not going to get a, a decent line. You're just going to get a pencil mark across it and uh, it's just going to be ever so slightly dipped. And there you go, that's all your tiles. I find this a lot easier than uh, getting bits of cereal box card and then gluing those down tile for tile. Now the... I made a bunch of square rows here and they also match the pattern of the old 40k terrain. They were uh, one and a half centimeters in length by one centimeter in height. Going to score the same thing again. I was going to make extra walls on this, and then I thought, at the moment you can get a tank in there. There's a model in there for scale, so you can get a, a fair size unit in there, maybe 20 to 30 orc boys. So there's plenty of space. A land raider in there. That's why we left one of the corners off. That's one of the reasons. The other reason is we've lost it somewhere. We found it though, we, we did find it um, after I finished building and painting the thing. And all I've done is score that same as before and um, started cutting chunks out so it looks like the wall's fallen down. We're going to put rubble and other stuff on here but I just thought it would pay to have a couple of bricks about the same size. I decided that um, all those tiles were a bit too flat so just marking off a random circle. We're going to start building a crater. Uh, there will be a video next week on uh, building just craters. Um, it will be different to this one, obviously. All I'm doing is taking off the top layer of the uh, foam core at the moment, which is just a piece of card, uh, just exposing the foam. Now you, pack, uh, you don't have to go all the way around the circle. You can leave it as a sporadic pattern, but the explosion is going to go from the inside outwards, so you want to make sure at least the middle section of this is completely taken out and I'm just using snips to uh, pull big chunks of uh, foam out of there at the moment we're going to neaten and sharpen all these edges up and everything else in a sec what I'm doing here is I'm raising some of those tiles so they look like they've been pulled out all I'm doing really is uh, sticking the pencil into the foam core underneath and then pushing the tile up
once the general shape of these craters is done I've added another one in there all I've really had to do is uh, bevel the edge at a 35 degree angle if you use a 45 degree angle then put cat layer on your models won't stand on it instead of using PVA glue I sort of missed a step here don't you go straight to PVA glue get some plaster and uh, pile it up in the corners of those buildings so the rubble piles up a bit higher I was just in a rush to get these done because we've got a new uh, battle map and we wanted to get some terrain on there it's entirely up to you how much time you take on your terrain you can always make shortcuts but we want to make sure there's a good coating of PVA glue around those uh, bits of terrain just to make sure it's got an extra bit of bond they were already bonded on with a PVA glue but I would recommend you know piling plaster into these corners it's going to give it a bit of extra weight as well because it's only foam core so when it's on the battlefield you're not going to be knocking it around and moving the t uh, terrain anywhere and very quickly I'm just going to get some uh, old cat litter we've had sat around the studio for ages we use this a lot I'm not taking too much care here trying to get it all done wedge those into the corner see this is where the plaster would have been better if you'd got lumps of plaster in those corners you could have just embedded these in there and it would have looked a bit better but at the time of doing this I was making fences crates and other battle terrain so it's not enough time in a day really then I'm gonna go for the sand it says sharp sand on the side guys, it's actually mixed sand, it's got bits of cat litter. It's basically anything that's left from um, from the table when you're done, we just scrape all that into one box. And once you've let that set, you want to coat all that sand and base area in PVA glue again. Water it down, and then just throw some paint on it guys, it's not too difficult. Um, this is just a quick paint job, it does need bit more grey adding to it, it's rather blue at the moment and uh, just throw some paint on, throw some pigment in there to break it up, pigment's a bit light but um, as a piece of terrain that doesn't take very long to build it'll do the job alright guys thanks for watching, hit like, hit subscribe, share with your friends and we'll catch you on the Thursdays video